Hey guys, it's Tian. So all of you know that I have this morbid curiosity for diet fairs and I'm down to try almost anything. And for today's episode, I'm going to be trying something a bit more extreme than usual and that is the K-pop idol diet. So I went online to see what the K-pop diet entails and I realised there are just so many different types of diets according to the different celebrities. But something I realised about all of them is that they seem pretty extreme. So out of all the different K-pop idol diets I found out there, there was one that really caught my attention and that was IU's diet. Her diet is pretty much one apple for breakfast, one sweet potato for lunch, and one protein shake for dinner. And I'm looking at the diet and thinking how does one sustain on this diet? Especially her because she's a K-pop idol. She probably has dance rehearsals, singing rehearsals, and has to go for all these concerts. How does she sustain with this kind of diet? And for myself, I'm thinking, you know, I lead a pretty active lifestyle. Can I possibly sustain with the same amount of calories and eat so little? And that's why I decided to try it for myself. So I'm going to vlog and bring you guys along my crash diet. It is day one of the K-pop diet and I am now on my way to work. I have not eaten anything but I want to make sure that when I have that apple, that sweet potato and that protein shake, it's going to be a damn good one. After work, I'm going to pick up my apple and I'm going to make it a really nice and juicy one. I try not to eat fruit in the morning. I don't know if you guys have experienced this before but when I eat a lot of sugar in the morning and a lot of fruit in the morning, I actually get a bit hungrier. But this is a really yummy apple and I'm glad it is part of my diet. I'm gonna finish eating this and then head up for my meeting. I am on my way back home. I swear towards like the last 10 minutes of that meeting, I thought I was gonna black out because I felt so hungry already. So I'm on my way back to eat my second meal, which is a sweet potato. I don't know how much that's gonna satiate me. I'm looking forward to it because I love sweet potatoes, but I really don't know how much that's gonna keep me full. I have made myself my lunch. This is my purple sweet potato. So I actually went online and went to go and see how other people do the IU diet and their sweet potatoes look significantly larger. So I decided to make myself another sweet potato even though this is like a little tiny one. I'm gonna enjoy my sweet potato, get back to doing some work and then check in a bit later in the afternoon. <laughs> I just felt this massive energy slump. I was so so tired and sleepy, I just decided to crash in bed and I only woke up another two hours later. So no, it's an unproductive day. And I'm glad that I'm not working out today. Today is like a rest day for me. So I'm just a bit worried to see how I would function given that I don't have a lot of energy from foods. Hopefully I have enough energy reserves to push me through a workout when I have to tomorrow. But as of now, all I can say is that I just feel very sleepy. The final meal of the day is going to be a protein shake. I feel that, you know, with dieting, it's sometimes it's not so much the food itself, it's just like the social element of it. For example, when I have date night, this person's gonna bring me somewhere very nice. The last thing I wanna do is to go, oh sorry, I'm only eating a sweet potato and apples for my diet. But you know what? I am determined to see this diet through. I do crazy things for the love of my channel and my show. It is day two on the K-pop diet and I have not eaten anything today. Uh, usually on my Saturday mornings, I pack my clients back to back. So I was just training non-stop. I think because I also knew I was on this diet, I tried not to eat too early in the day because I feel once you start eating, your, your metabolism starts going. So I tried not to eat so early today so I can spread out my calories when I'm the most exhausted, which is probably going to be later today. I didn't feel super hungry this morning. Honestly, I was running on coffee the entire time. This is my third cup this morning so I guess I'm just running on caffeine but I feel like the hunger pang might kick in a bit later on but I have my apple with me I'm gonna have this is my first meal of the day so far how I feel in terms of how I look I do feel thinner I think just because I feel more hollow I didn't eat much yesterday so I guess it's like an initial feeling with just to feel thinner I regret saying that I was okay this morning because I'm just like I'm so I'm starving I'm so starving and I'm out of water so I can't drink water to you know to cure my hugger pangs. What I'm thinking about is the sweet potato when actually I'm not just thinking of sweet potato I'm thinking of meatball. I'm also thinking of meatball. <laughs> Just in general, this diet doesn't even seem like it fills anybody out. I mean, I don't know how an apple and sweet potatoes and a protein shake is supposed to fill around that. I mean, that's under 500 calories, which is pretty much a starvation calorie diet if you ask me. I know that earlier today, I was saying that 
I am quite unperturbed by this diet but to be honest after you have eaten one apple you've gotten your sugar in your body starts to crave for more food and that's what I'm doing right now that's what I have for lunch today a sweet potato it just feels like an incomplete meal it's like World War II diet I feel so like weak it definitely doesn't fill you up I am done filming a little story time for my personal YouTube channel and I am feeling famished. I would say though that on day two of my diet, I have been getting very good bowel movements which is pretty strange because I'm thinking you know I'm not eating that much food I'm only eating like an apple and a sweet potato and a protein shake and I'm eliminating a lot of meat in my diet meat perhaps could be the result of a lot of constipation and bloating issues that I experience on a day-to-day -day. but overall it's been okay I just have to deal with very serious hunger pangs so it is the end of day 2 on the K-pop diet and I can say that I already feel skinnier so I think there's a huge psychological effect of this diet whereby because you're eating so little you do feel a lot lighter yeah you don't get the same kind of bloating you would after you eat a huge meal and it's just been two days of eating less and you feel skinnier and I can totally see why people will be addicted to wanting to do it on a daily basis so it is now day 3 on my K-pop diet. I just finished training my Sunday morning clients and I'm now at my grandma's house going to have my Sunday afternoon lunch which I do every single Sunday when I visit them. Unfortunately, I forgot to tell her that I'm on this crazy K-pop diet. I am not feeling very tired or very lethargic uh, but I would say that I could use with a lot more calories because I just know that my body functions much better when I have eaten enough food and I have the amount, right amount of calories in order for me to expand my energy. Personal training is a very emotionally and energetically expensive service so I want to be able to have the amount of calories and energy so that I can give that to my clients and I feel if without that energy I'm unable to do so. In fact, I'm just running on a lot of caffeine so I would like to be able to eat more so that I can you know train them with even more intensity and to also work out with even more intensity for myself I just completed a workout on my app and overall I am feeling very sweaty very gassed out and I am a bit dizzy and sleepy and tired because I hadn't had enough food just makes me understand how hard it must be to get up and actually do a workout if you don't eat enough calories and I know I could have pushed a lot harder had I eaten more calories for dinner I have a protein shake to be honest I'm getting really sick and tired of IU's diet it's so boring and there's no variety and it's so minimal I really don't like feeling hungry I don't like feeling weak and that was completely how I felt just now when I tried to work out at my grandmother's place I honestly don't know how long more of this diet I can take it is day 4 of the K-pop diet needless to say I feel like crap I don't feel motivated to go to the gym now I no, I do have to work out and I should work out so I'm gonna eat a pre-workout snack my apple and then go and train so I'm done with my leg and abs workout and I definitely think that my diet has not served me well because I feel very tired. I think also because psychologically I know that I haven't eaten enough over the past few days and I just want to conserve my energy so that is making me not want to push as hard but I'm still trying to like psych myself into pushing and finishing out this workout so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm halfway through day 4 on the K-pop diet and I've got to say that this is definitely not working out for me because I've only had an apple today and I've just been sitting here trying to get some work done but been feeling very distracted <laughs> because my stomach is growling. So I went online to do a bit of research about the K-pop diet and there are just a couple of guidelines that a lot of the Korean superstars follow when it comes to this K-pop diet. So one of them is that it's lower fat so a lot of the Korean cuisines actually avoid fried and heavy fat meals and they mainly steam their foods on this diet. There's also minimally processed foods in the K-pop diet, no sugar. K-pop stars stay away from high sugary beverages, sugary snacks and again it's very heavy in vegetables, things like bibimbap that has a lot of variety of vegetables. There's also an emphasis on more chicken and fish and less red meat. Soy rich food, again like tofu, adamame. So in a nutshell, the K-pop diet is pretty similar to how I would normally eat already which is 
nutritious to have minimally processed foods, a lot of lean meats, high amount of protein and vegetables. And you know, I think that if you also just compare Korean diets to the, let's say the Western diets, the portion sizing is just a lot smaller for Korean diets. So perhaps that could be a reason why you can stay healthy and also portion control and lose weight on a Korean diet. I think that all diets, when taken to an extreme level, is unhealthy for you. Especially when these are diets promoted by your idols. You want to look like that so you know you have this misconception that this diet works long term when as a matter of fact, it probably is only used for instances where they really need to lose a lot of weight for a role in a show or an appearance or for a photo shoot. So yeah, definitely not a sustainable diet to be eating so little. Today for lunch, I actually got myself a healthy Korean bowl. I'm just going to fill myself up because if not, I am going to faint and I have driving after this. I'm not going to take any risks. I am back from my driving class and that was a pretty intense driving session. I feel as though I should have eaten a lot more before because I couldn't concentrate and towards the end I remember feeling very agitated with my driving instructor. Okay granted he is a bit of an irritant. I just wanted to get out of the car so badly that I left in a rush and I left my wallet in the car so I'm annoyed and a bit emotional and a bit frustrated at myself because I shouldn't be leaving my stuff around and I was just a bit muddle-headed. Yeah, I'm actually getting slightly emotional right now. I don't know why. I want to scream. I'm so mad at myself right now. I'm gonna go and get some food and eat proper food because I'm not just gonna survive on a protein shake. I'm gonna eat like proper food and I think I'm gonna feel a lot better. So it is day 5 on my K-pop diet. I don't particularly feel as energized as usual. I did have an apple for my breakfast because I still wanted to continue the diet so I can give even more feedback. Maybe there's something about eating an apple every morning that is good for overall health and well-being but I would like to eat something more substantial for breakfast than just an apple. So I have a driving test right after this. I know for a fact that I'm not going to starve myself and go there without the clarity of mind. So I'm going to be eating my egg oats all healthy and I think that this is the correct fuel that I should be eating in order to power me through a very intense driving test because I want to be sharp. So just a little update, I didn't pass my driving test and I unfortunately mounted a curb but it's okay. I'm feeling extremely ravenous right now and I am going to treat myself to amazing Korean food because I've been on this insane diet. I'm gonna add my rice and my carbs in uh, because I need brain juice. Okay, so I've come to the end of day 5 on the Korean diet. I essentially broke my diet today and um, I don't think that I can last another day on IU's diet because I was feeling physically weak, really irritable and kind of brain foggy. So overall, I think this just goes to show that what you eat doesn't just affect your appearance and your energy levels but it also affects your mood and your mental clarity and I don't think I want to last another day on this diet. I won't recommend it to anybody and I'm just really <laughs> glad that it's over. So after trying out this diet, I can completely understand when people start going on these crash diets and they lose this significant amount of weight within the first week or the first few days even. I can imagine how addictive that must be for them because you know when you start eating less calories, just generally your body is going to be purging itself of its water weight, you're going to feel lighter obviously, you feel skinnier in your face, you feel skinnier in your body, it's a very like psychological thing. But at the same time, I think that there's a lot of danger in just following these diets especially for younger people who are looking up to these k-pop idols and thinking that you know this is a normal diet and totally like normalizes eating such low calories for all these celebrities and that can lead to a slippery slope it can result in many eating disorders and health issues which i do not want for you and i want to tell everybody who looks up to their celebrities and their idols to you know still practice wisdom when it comes to dieting realize that we don't lead the same lifestyle and for that reason is just not sustainable for you. And in general, I'm just a huge advocate for eating a healthy and balanced diet. We've done a lot of videos on healthy diet tips and also healthy meals that you can prepare for yourself so you can go and check those out. And of course, you know that with a healthy diet, you also need to supplement it with exercise. And if you're looking to kickstart your fitness journey, go and download the No Sweat Fitness app. You'll get personalized workouts that are tailored to your specific fitness goals. You also get other perks like one-on-one -on -one fitness assessments from me. Yes, I do personally respond 
to everyone who writes to me on the app. You'll get access to live stream chats and workouts and even exclusive invites to meet and greet sessions. And when you sign up, you get your first week for free. After that, you have the option of signing up for a one-year, three-month or one-month plan. And if you join the one-year plan, you also get a free set of No Sweat Resistance bands. These bands are also available for purchase on the No Sweat merch store, so if you're looking for some way to add some resistance to your home workouts, then go and check these out. Lastly, with all our other videos, if you like this one, please remember to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you never miss a notification every time we post a new video. Or you can download the Click Network app to get early access to our videos before they hit YouTube. We just revamped the app and gave it a new look, so let us know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye!